Exactly. I had the best fucking New Year's this year, guys. I went to sort of this all geek house party, and you know, I got there. I'm looking around. There's like 150, 200 people. They're jumping around. They're dancing around. They're having a great time. They're drinking. They're bugging. And then I start looking around a little closer, and I realize there's like four or five pairs of girls making out with each other. And in the back of my mind, I was wondering if they were naturally gay or just prison gay, because... <laughs> because they're surrounded by nerds where you've got... Where you've got a beautiful girl, she's looking around at guys she might be interested in. Yeah, that guy's trying to hold a lightsaber duel with the cat. That guy's trying to install Linux on the sofa. That motherfucker is trying to legally marry his iPhone. Yeah, Melissa, here, here's nine, sh nine shots of Jaeger. Your, your hair looks great tonight. Um, help rolls over in a good way. I got laid somewhat recently. Um... <laughs> That's like betting on the Easter Bunny delivering your pizza on Valentine's Day. Um, yeah, uh, you're assholes. Um, but realistic. But the thing was, you know, there's a good side and bad side to this. The good side was she let me have sex with her, which was really nice of her. Um, the bad side was she was uh, like 48 minutes before we had sex. She told me she's like really into fetish clubs and BDSM stuff and like, I'm trying to be cool with this and compassionate and understanding and hip with it, but in the back of my mind, all, all I could see in my mind was the rave scenes from the Blade movies where... <laughs> There's an underground concrete chamber and a fog machine and a Komodo dragon walking around in spandex and a midget leather trying to whack her left kneecap off with a stuffed woodchuck because that's the only way she can come. <laughs> but actually, it went pretty well. I mean, at, at the end, we were cuddling, and she looked in my eyes and said, you know, you, you did things to me no one's ever done. And I was like, yeah, that's called the missionary position. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's as, it's as funky as I get. <laughs>